welcome to my little video where I want to share with you the four pillars of well-being, um, starting with beliefs. So I'm going to do a video on each of the pillars and I'm just going to spend a few minutes introducing them and why they are so pivotal to healing and to your freedom in this world, emotionally, physically, everything. So we'll start with our beliefs. Okay, so the reason that I have included beliefs as one of my pillars is because it was probably the most major factor that I had to address in order to heal my chronic and genetic illness. Um, even though all of my symptoms were physical uh, and I was having some emotional meltdowns, uh, yeah, majority of them were physical symptoms. They were being driven by beliefs and thought patterns and programs um, that I'd been running for, for most of my life. So basically our beliefs are stored, just to give you a little bit of information, your beliefs are stored at a level that is below your, your conscious knowledge. So within your subconscious mind, which I have talked about before. So the thing that that means is that you don't actually know what you believe at a subconscious level. We think we know consciously that we believe that we're smart or funny or good enough or abundant and wealthy and lovable and but unfortunately because from ages zero to seven we pretty much don't have a conscious mind we just take in the world as we see it and so it's very dependent upon who raised us how we were raised what we saw what we were told so it is it is a tricky thing so you, you're not aware of what you believe so Often, like most things though, and this is just the way that our, our mind works as well, they're definitely more negative than, than positive. Uh, and that's just that we have a negativity bias within our, our brains, um, which is unfortunate. But this is why we find that unfortunately people that are ill have really self-sabotaging beliefs about themselves and the world. Um, and others in the world and all of that. So basically beliefs to put it really tangibly to you, beliefs are what drive your thoughts. So if you believe that you are not lovable, then you are going to have thoughts and question whether that person is really going to like you or want to be with you or want to stay with you. Because at a deep level, your belief is that you're not lovable. So beliefs will drive your thoughts. And what we know about our thoughts and the impact that has on our health is pretty much summed up in the fact that Every thought you have creates a chemical cocktail in your body. So every single thought you have, your body is producing chemicals based upon that thought. So pay a bit of attention to what you're thinking through the day because every time it's a negative thought, you are actually producing what I would say is, is negative chemicals or chemicals that are not working in your greatest health. And so what happens over time, unfortunately, with these negative beliefs, we're having negative thoughts, our body breaks down because the chemicals that are continually being sent throughout our body are not conducive to health. They're not the feelings like you get of joy when your first child is born or any of your children or the day of your wedding or, you know, any of that stuff. They're, they're consistent negative or self-sabotaging thoughts. So, Basically, what I do, and one of the biggest things I'll share with you now, is we have the choice. So let's choose to believe the most positive thing that we can. We have that choice. You have the choice to believe what you want to believe, okay? Uh, what I do to support that subconscious side of things is I use a process called Psyche, which I'm a master facilitator of, and that is how we actually log in at a subconscious level for you, and we rewire those beliefs. So it is all fixable, people, no stress. Um, I also include, you know, with the healing in, in this pillar, things around affirmations and these strong, positive thoughts. Um, we do meditation. I think that's always key to a lot of healing. Uh, and communication actually is a really big one. And I'm going to be talking about that in the communication pillar. But that's a big one to making sure that you maintain positive beliefs and have positive experiences in your life. Um, so that's me. We've done about five minutes and look, thanks for popping through. If you've got any questions, obviously email or get in touch. Thanks guys. That was pillar one beliefs.